Extra Resources for Excel Lesson 3 Hi everybody! In this third lesson of Extra Resources, we will discover how to create basic formulas in Excel. I believe that you already discovered the Excel formulas in lower grades. Now it is time to have more detail about how to build advanced formulas. In this first lesson of formulas, we will get a review on some basic formulas. As you remember, each formula in Excel should start with the equal sign. In cell D13, if we type equal today, we open and close parentheses, you will see that today's date will be displayed. If we type equal year, we open the parentheses and write the cell's address in which the date formula is written. Then we close the parentheses. Then the value of the year will be displayed, as you can see here. This could be applied to the month and to the day. So, if I write equal month, I open parentheses D13, close parentheses, then the value of the month, which is 10, will be displayed, since we are creating this tutorial in October. And if we write equal day, we open and close parentheses, and inside we write D13, it will display the today's day value. So here, we took an idea about how we can create the formulas in order to have the date's value. Now, let's start by remembering the basic formulas in order to create simple calculations. If I write equal sum, I open parentheses and write D4 colon D9. I close parentheses, I press enter. The sum of the cells from D4 till D9 will be displayed. To calculate the average of the cells, I type equal average. I open parentheses D4 colon D9. Then I close parentheses. This will display the average of the cells D4 to D9. If I write equal max, open parentheses D4 colon D9 close parentheses, it will show the maximum value in the list. If I write equal min, open parentheses, D4 colon D9, close parentheses, it will display the lowest value. What is interesting in this lesson is that when the formula is created, if I change the values in the list, let us say I replace a value by a new one. Look how the sum the average and the result is updated. Till now, we saw the main four functions to create formulas. Now, it's time to remember what is the use of the function count. So I write equal count, open parentheses, D4, colon, D9, close parentheses. It will display the total number of not emptied cells. Now, it is your turn to practice some formulas in Excel. Create a table in Excel that contains two columns. Date. Supermarket purchases. After filling the table, apply the different formulas to display the sum of the purchases. The average. The maximum value of the purchases. And the lowest value. Thank you for watching our tutorial. And do follow us on our channels, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to receive more updates.